Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Today we're going to be talking about using a split ring, which you see over here on the right, or using a loop knot uh, over here on the left. And uh, there's some pros and cons of each way, and so I'll go through those. And if I miss any of the points, you know, please do leave a comment down below. This is really designed to be a discussion and not a lecture. This is actually a question that came in from Dale Landry, uh, just asking about you know, when to use split rings and when not to. This split ring lets the, the lure have maximized motion in the water, which is generally gonna maximize the strike results in the loop knot the same way, right? There's no, the line is not snugly tied to the lure so that the water drag on the line doesn't impact the lure nearly as much as it would if, uh, if there was a, a snug knot attached to it. So knowing that we need to use one of the two, you know, what are the situations where we would use one versus the other? So first I'll talk about the split ring and the, and the pros and cons, and the pros are, are really all about strength. So when you do use a split ring is that you then can use a snug knot on the, the split ring and still enable the lure have maximum action. And, uh, and pretty much any good knot, I've done a lot of knot tests, and any good snug knot will almost always beat a good loop knot. It's just, it's just how it works. Um, snug knots are, are stronger than loop knots. So, so just by using the split ring factor alone, you do increase the actual, you know, the actual strength of this connection. But the main benefit though is really the, the, the strength against abrasion on the actual line. And this really comes into play when, uh, when trolling. So those who are trolling, especially if you have a, a crankbait style bait. Let me pull up this, uh, this is like a crankbait, you know, a, lipped, a lip bait that has a lot of, of side motion, right? These almost always come with a split ring on them. And, and that's because, you know, when you're trolling, there's gonna be a lot of movement, a lot of side movement. And, and so when you use the split ring, it's gonna, it's gonna be uh, absorbing all that movement. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be the line. So, so if this lure was just constantly going back and forth, back and forth, like, uh, you know, like one of these crankbaits we'd be doing when trolling, uh, the, the, the fact that this friction on the eye that is attached to the lure, that's eventually gonna wear down the knot. If you're just casting and retrieving, it's really not that big of a deal, but, but for long, you know, for long uh, spans of trolling, um, it, it can definitely wear in the line, even though that water is in there, um, there's still gonna be enough friction to eventually, uh, eventually damage the line. So now for the cons of the split ring, and, and especially for topwater lures, which is generally the, uh, the, the hard plastic lure that I, that I use, is I don't like them because uh, the, biggest, the, the biggest frustration with topwater lures is when that line, I'm sure we've all experienced when that line gets, gets caught around the hook, and then totally, totally ruins the, the entire cast. The, the retrieve, the lures just looks terrible in the water when, uh, when the, the hook snags onto the line. And, and having the split ring there, especially when you're using a snug knot attached to it, which is the really the proper way to do when you are using split rings, is that that added weight, it'll, it'll pull the line further down than it would otherwise, right? So this, this, this split ring is gonna sink faster. And the fact that the, there's a snug knot it's just gonna pull the line down closer to those hooks. Conversely, right, if we're not using the split ring, uh, this knot doesn't sink as fast as the split ring, as fast as the metal, obviously it's less dense. And so it's gonna, it's gonna have a, a slower uh, sink rate relative to what you would get with the split ring. And so long story short, there's gonna be a, a, a lower chance of getting snagged around the hooks when you're using the loop knot relative to the split ring. So the main pro of the, of the loop knot is the fact that there's a lower, uh, a lower odd of, of a lure, especially top, a top water lure, getting snagged uh, around the hook. All right, that's a big pro in my opinion. The other benefit is that it's just less visible to fish, right? There's uh, the fish, uh, if the fish is very wary, um, they'll obviously you know, have uh, less tendency to, to realize that something unnatural is up here because it's gonna be clear line uh, relative to you know, an actual metal a metal circle, which is not uh, quite a natural thing in the water. Although it is very small, you know, sometimes when the fish are finicky, it's just good to, to just minimize anything that's not totally necessary. And the con of the loop knot is, as I said before, you know, if there is a lure, especially if you're trolling, and there's gonna be a lot of movement for a long period of time, you know, that, that could wear down the line. And the other con is, is the strength, right? We know that, you know, this connection isn't quite 
as strong as, uh, as this connection. But for me personally, I'm almost always using a very light line, a light main line, a light braid, uh, a 10 pound braid, for example, for, for getting maximum casting distance while targeting snook and, and other species like that with abrasive mouths so that I'll be using a much stronger leader. So I'll have like a 25 to 30 pound leader and a 10 pound main line so that even though you know this this knot isn't quite as strong as what I could as what I could get with this knot, it's still going to be much stronger than even a really good line to line knot because you know the line to line knot is dealing with a 10 pound line, whereas this is a, is a 25 or 30 pound line. So that's the general pros and cons. Just wanted to explain at, at least my philosophies uh, between the two of the pros and cons between the two. If I miss anything or if you have a, a different view on anything that was mentioned, please do leave a comment down below. Again, love to hear your feedback. The great thing about fishing is that it is a forever learning sport and I'll be happy to see some uh, some different viewpoints. So yeah, just leave your comment down below. But yeah, thank you so much for your time and watching this video. I hope you can get on the water soon and catch some big ones.